One, two, three. This is the Tales LC. Welcome. So this is the first time that we actually, you know, show our faces. So we are going to play some true or false games. Um, each of us has prepared some facts about um, three different supernatural creatures that you may have known of, and um, you know we will take turn to answer um, the um, true or false questions. So we have already prepared these cards. So the first fact: vampires are real. True or false? <laughs> One, two, three. Then, then, then. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> so the answer is, of course, vampires are not real. Uh, the answer is false. Oh, yeah. The answer is false. So, you know, fun fact: um, vampires are, of course, not real, but. There are also people who call themselves vampires. Those people are, you know, actually a group of people who drink small amounts of blood, and um, in an attempt to stay healthy, they believe that blood, other people's blood, will keep them healthy. So, Wait, so they drink other people's blood? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And how how can they get those blood? <laughs> um, good question, actually. So they try to find the donors in in private. So there are there are actually donors of those blood who donated blood to them privately. So they're just yeah. gonna drink it raw, like not boil it or yeah, raw blood. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I, I don't know if it's actually real, but that's what it says in the internet. So. Yeah, so vampires are not real, but there are people who identify themselves as vampires. So, are you ready for the second question? Yes. All right, here we go. The second one: vampire cannot be photographed because it does not have a reflection. True or false? One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, we have different answer. <laughs> Let's see who got who gets it right. Drum roll. <laughs> the answer is true. So, I heard it somewhere that vampires cannot see themselves in the mirror. So mm -hmm. that's why I choose true. Yay! Yeah, it's actually true. Vampire does not have a reflection, and also it. It does not have shadow either. All right, the third question. In the past, people who suffered from diseases such as tuberculosis and rabies were accused of being a vampire. True or false? So one, two, three. Okay, so the answer is True. <laughs> um, another fun fact. So, there is another disease. Um, it is a blood disorder disease called um, porphyria, and it could cause severe blister on on a person's skin when they are exposed to sunlight. And at that time, you know, people actually mistook uh, people who had that disease as a vampire. So along with tuberculosis and rabies there is also um, porphyria as well so, so what are other people going to do with those patients um they you know they accuse them of being vampires and to prevent themselves from getting bitten by the supposed vampire they will run they would run a stake through um, those patients' hearts. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, 
Okay, moving on to question number four. Question number four. Being bitten by a vampire is the only way for a person to be turned into a vampire. True or false? One, two, three. Ooh. You guys have the same answer. So the correct answer is actually false. <laughs> you both got it wrong. So besides being bitten by a vampire, there are also a number of other ways, such as um, sorcery, committing suicide, contagious disease, or having a cat jump over a corpse. You know, actually different regions have different no, uh, have different beliefs that is actually according to people's belief okay question number five are you ready here we go question number five is about count dracula so count dracula the most prominent figure in vampire fiction originated from a region that is now known as hungary true or false Okay, one, two, three. So you answered false. The correct answer is false. Yay! You both got it right. Um, actually, Count Dracula um, originated from a, a region called Transylvania. And Transylvania was actually part of Hungary back then. But in the first half of 20th century, it was incorporated into Romania. So now, um, Transylvania, where Count Dracula originated from, is in Romania. So the answer is false. Great job. Question number six. This one is actually about um, Count Dracula as well. So Dracula turned into a vampire when he was bitten by another vampire. True or false? One, two, three. <laughs> <Boy. laughs> okay. So the correct answer is actually oh, oh no. false. <laughs> uh, fun fact, Dracula is a character in Bram Stoker's bro uh, book and um, in his book um, Dracula turned into a vampire because he used black magic and why did he use black magic? It was because his wife committed suicide when um, she heard that Dracula died in war so um, by committing suicide um, her soul became unpure and she could not go to heaven so dracula had to channel black magic because um you know of his the undying love for his wife and that was how he was turned into a vampire a sad love story actually he wasn't bitten by another vampire <laughs> another question um it's about the ability of a vampire so vampires have the ability to manipulate a person's mind. True or false? One, two, three. Ah! Manipulate <laughs> the point. answer. That means one of you got it right and <laughs> one of you oh, yeah. wrong. <laughs> so the, uh, the correct answer is... Yay! No. Why? <laughs> so another fun fact in addition to uh, being able to manipulate a, a, uh, another person's mind vampires may also be able to manipulate the thoughts of their victims and um, they did it by looking into um, the victim's eyes and change their memories and thoughts so yeah Damn. fun fact I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Question number eight. Listen carefully. The only way 
to kill a vampire is to drive a stake through its heart. True or false? One, two, three. <laughs> it's false. <laughs> yeah. It's not the only way. I it's false. It is not the only way. So, of course, the main way is to drive a stake through its heart. There are, there are also a number of ways, such as, you know, expose them to sunlight, decapitation, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, removing their heart, or just burn them. And last two questions. Um, question number nine. This one is about language, so listen carefully. I don't speak vampirian. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, question nine: the word vampire comes from the Greek word meaning to bite. Uh, I I know that you you have got to guess this one because you don't know Greek. One, two, three. <laughs> Can you guess by my laugh? <laughs> we both got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the answer is false. Um, so actually, the word vampire is a Greek word that means to drink. You know, drinking a person's blood. So yeah, the answer is false. Last question, last question. In medieval times, Blondes were regarded as vampires. True or false? One, two, three. Ooh, different <laughs> answer. <laughs> Let's see who got it correct. So the correct answer is drum roll. Do, 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 false. Oh no! <laughs> I got it right. So actually, it's not blonde, but redheads. In addition to being hot tempered, they were also regarded as vampires in medieval times. The anime lied to me. Oh no! <laughs> they portrayed vampires <laughs> having blonde hair. You can say it's a people's belief, different belief, different. It, you cannot really say it's a fact, it's actually a myth, so yeah, it can be anything, but you know, according to what I, I found about vampires, it says that in medieval times, red hats were regarded as vampires. Okay, so yeah, that, that is it for vampires. Okay, so let us now talk about mummies. And we are going to play some game again. And the first one is Mommies are real. True or false? Why? <laughs> I'm going to count from one to three and you guys just raise your cards up. One, two, three. Ooh. They are real okay. people. Okay, so. The right answer is true. Mummies are actually real. So mummy basically refer to a person or animal whose body has been tried or otherwise preserved after they are dead. And you can see a lot of mummies, especially in Egypt. And yeah, mummies are real. Okay, the next point is Mummification has been practiced in only Egypt. What do you think about this? True or false? I don't know. <laughs> One, two, three. So both of you got it right. It's <laughs> in only Egypt. So First of all, mummification refers to the process or practice of preserving a body as a mummy. And you can see mummification practice or process in many civilizations or countries such as 
Libyan, South Africa, Asia, China, Australia, Iran, and many other countries. Even though their way of mummify are different from one another, but they are still the type of you know preserving the body. So yeah, this is not only in Egypt. Ooh, the next one, mummification is for everyone in Egypt. Okay, let's read our cards now. One, two, three. Do you want to change your mind? Wait, wait, wait. I, I. Can you read the answer again? I think I might got it confused. Okay, just, just. It's okay. It's oh, so <laughs> you, you don't change the answer, and the answer is actually. Oh. Mummification is not actually for everyone in Egypt. You know, mummification is a long process that could take up to 70 days and it is really expensive. So only the rich could have the ability to do so and the poor were just buried in sand. So yeah, not for everyone. The next one, internal organs of the dead needs to be removed first before mummified. It's true or false? Internal organs. One, two, three. Okay, so I would say the answer is true. They need to be removed first before they um, mummify in order to remove all the moisture of the internal organs. However, the heart um, wasn't removed at all because they believe that the heart is the center of a person's emotion and intelligence. So they need to be there for the afterlife. <laughs> Not the brain. <laughs> okay, the next question is about the brain. Let's think about this. Brains were removed through the mouth. True or false? Mm. Brain needs to be removed as well, but through the mouth, true or false? One, two, three. If you say it's wrong, then where do you think it's going to be removed from? The ear or the, the nose? Ear. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't. just gotta cut it. <laughs> Maybe they just have to cut it out. Yeah, you are right that the brains <laughs> were not removed from the house because actually, brains were removed from the nose thrill. Oh, wait, for yeah. real? For yeah. real. <laughs> Extra point. <laughs> They, they use the brain hook in order to just, you know, remove the brain. Okay, the next one. Animals were also mummified. True or false? One, two, three. Raise your hands up, please. Okay. Good answer, because it is actually true. If you remember it correctly, Mommy refer to a person or animal whose body has been dried or preserved. Okay, so mommy were also mummified and it could include a lot of animals like cats, um, birds, cow, frogs, or many other um, animals that were considered as the personal pet of the dead body. So, you know, just preserve them together so that they can go together like that. Next one, mommy's smell bad true or false mm. okay let's raise our cards up now one two three who <laughs> different answers again <laughs> so the right answer is actually this one false yay <laughs> well according to our result Mummies do not smell like decomposition, but it also do not smell like perfume, Chanel, like that. It just doesn't smell anything, but it doesn't smell bad. It just smells like mummies. They remove all the internal organs. Yeah, and 
they removed the moist chorus box, so that's why they smell like nothing. Okay, so shall we I go on to the next question? Yeah. The next one Mummies have never been destroyed. So once a person has been mummified, it's just there, no destroy. True or false? Aha, uh -huh. one, two, three. Where's the cards are? False. Why do you think it is false? Because I think I heard somewhere about stories about burglars trying to, um, you know, search for treasures inside those mm -hmm. coffee, coffin, not coffee, <laughs> <laughs> coffin, yeah. So maybe they also destroy the mummies in the process. You are right. Mommy have been destroyed in a lot of interesting ways. Some were burned and some were just ground into powder to make much something or whatever. But they have been destroyed what? in many interesting ways. <laughs> and yeah, some were destroyed because of treasure hunters as well. So that's all for mummies. So now our topic is Mermaid! Hey, Ariel! Yeah, Ariel. So, a mermaid has the head and upper body of a female human and a tail of a fish. True or false? One. I, it's quite tricky though. Maybe I'm thinking a bit too much. In Come on, it's just the first question! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three! Yay! So it's true, a mermaid has the head and the upper body of a female human and the tail of a fish. So that is a mermaid. Alright, next statement. The male equivalent of the mermaid is called Aquaman. <laughs> Okay. True or false? One, two, three. It's false. Why? Why do you say it's false? Well, man, it's Jason Momoa. <laughs> okay, so you guys are right. The correct answer is false. But do you know the male, uh, the male equivalent of a mermaid? Do you know what it's called? Merman. Merman. <laughs> exactly, it's called merman. <laughs> right, so, you know, in Old English, the word mer means sea, and the word maid means a girl or a young woman. So, mermaid is woman of the sea. So, if you want to know the male equivalent of a mermaid, you put the same mer, sea, and then you put man. So, merman, man of the sea. <laughs> That's what I'm... No, it's not Aquaman. <laughs> Close enough though. <laughs> Alright, next statement. Though there has not been any real evidence to confirm the existence of a mermaid, this creature exists in many folklores across the globe for thousands of years. True or false? One, two, three! Yeah, it's true! The statement is true! So the first legend of mermaids tells about a goddess who fell in love with a shepherd but accidentally killed at him. Oh no. The goddess became so depressed that she jumped into a lake and instead of turning into a fish, she turned into a mermaid. <laughs> so that's the first legend about mermaids. <laughs> so do you guys know the fairy tale The Little Mermaid, Ariel? Yeah. Okay. So, do you know that the version, the Disney version that you've watched, it's not the original version? Do you know that? I've heard of that before, <laughs> but I don't know the original well, version. Where is the original one? Okay, so in the original version, the mermaid seeks help from a sea witch, who gives her a potion to transform into a human, but at a cost of her tongue and her beautiful voice. She almost succeeds in marrying the prince, 
but she would have to die unless she stabs the prince with a magic knife before his marriage. And she does not have the resolve to do so and dies in the end. That's sad ending. <laughs> But the Disney one has a happy ending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, there is a world famous statue of the Little Mermaid based on that fairy tale, the original version, in Denmark. And there are other copies of the statue around the world. Is that true or false? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Uh oh! That's <laughs> just a guess. So the correct answer is true. Yay. It's true. It's true. In the Cambodian version of Ramayana, Rimke, there is a mermaid character called Niang Sawan Macha. True or false? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so, what do you think? <laughs> um, to be honest, I don't really know the storyline of um, Ramayana or Rimke, but I'm pretty sure it's not the one with <laughs> Yeah, it's it's different story, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, are you sure? Yeah. Isn't she the wife of um, uh, Hanuman? Okay. So the correct answer is it's true. There is a oh. character called Ning Sovan Mata, and she was the. I'm not sure if this information is right or wrong, but as I remember, she was the one who um, tries to stop Hanuman from building the bridge across the sea. Oh. But then in the end, she ends up falling for him. So oh. maybe oh, that's the wife. Or <laughs> but there is a character called Ning Sovan Mate. I see. <laughs> okay. All right. Next statement. In Europe. People believe that if you see a mermaid, you would have good luck. True or false? One, two, three. <laughs> okay, you guys are, are wrong. It's actually false. <laughs> actually, the presence of a mermaid could mean that a terrible storm was approaching or you were going to be taken down to the bottom of the sea to die. Mm -hmm. So it's not good luck, it's bad luck if you see a mermaid in Europe. I want to see one. <laughs> okay, next statement. Do you know what an aquamarine is? It's a gemstone. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A gemstone? So, aquamarine is a gemstone that was once believed to come from the tears of mermaids and it had the power to protect sailors when they were at the sea. Hmm. True or false? It's a belief or it's real? Belief. It was uh, once believed to come from the tears of the mermaids and it had the power to protect sailors. Okay. One, two, Three. <laughs> I'm guessing everything right now. <laughs> okay, so you guys are right. Yay. It's true. Don't you think that it's cool that mermaids' tears form a gemstone called a coramarine? But it's what people believe back then. All right. Oh, you guys are not going to get this. So next statement. <laughs> There is a rare disorder called mermaid syndrome, which is characterized by a child being born with legs joined together, like a mermaid tail. Mermaid tail. So it's called mermaid syndrome. It's a rare disorder. So true or false? One, two, three. Oh, 
Are you sure? <laughs> I, I actually saw a baby on internet that has the lower body as a moment too. But I'm not sure yeah. whether it's called moment syndrome or not. I also so think that too. Okay, so you're right. It's called mermaid syndrome. Right. Ooh. You guys are so smart. Um, it is said that he who receives a mermaid's kiss will Ooh, turn I... into a merman. What uh, is that? I was like screaming. You, you were too excited <laughs> <laughs> to hear about the kissing. <laughs> okay, so it is said that he who receives a mermaid's kiss will turn into a merman. Oh, I don't know this. True or false? Mm. So, one, two, three. Wow! You're right, it's false! Yay! <laughs> so, what do you think, Lai Hing? Have you heard anything about it? No, the moment I, I hear the kiss is that because th this is what I was waiting for this question because I used to read somewhere that if you kiss with a mermaid or a mermaid, I don't know, can breathe under the water. Is yeah. It, is it? Yep, you're right. So the correct answer should be that he who receives a mermaid's kiss would have the ability to breathe under water. Wow, but that I does not it. mean, yeah, the man would turn into a merman. He would he would just have the ability to breathe under water. All right, is so it real? is mermaid real? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Last question: The mermaid's nails colors change according to her mood. Ah. True or false? <laughs> ah. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh no! <laughs> It's actually ben, ben, ben. <laughs> Why? It's actually false. It's her tails that change in color, not her nails. I see. Oh. I, I mean, I used to see this movie called Aquamarine. Aquamarine. <laughs> yeah. I know. And her nails change color. Yeah. There are people whose occupation is a mermaid, though. Oh. Yep. Yeah. And they take um, photos underwater. I guess that's the end of our video. Hope you learned something and see you in the next video. Yay. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Please don't forget to like, like and subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs> video TSLC, click like and follow Facebook page about the TSLC. ហើយប្រសិនបើលោកអ្នកពេញចិត្តវីដេអូមួយនេះសូមជួយ